Welcome biologists to this session where we're going to take a look at the use of plant hormones. So anything here in a red box is taken directly from the MART scheme. These are the main points that we need to be aware of. So first of all, we use ethene to control fruit ripening. So this is normally used in fruit that is grown in warmer climates and then transported to cooler ones, such as bananas, tomatoes and mangoes. So what they would do is they pick the fruit uh, quite a while before it's due to be sold and then um, store it in a cool place and once it's being transported to the country where it's going to be sold towards the end of the journey they'll be exposed to the gas ethene to allow the fruit to ripen next one is rooting powders and um, so we use these in micro propagation which you learn about in cloning and here we learn that uh, auxins can stimulate shoot growth shoot growth through apical dominance and they can also be they're really really good for uh, rooting powders in small concentrations to stimulate root growth and also they're really really good to produce seedless plants now the seedless plants need to be produced using rooting powders because if they don't have any seeds then they can't reproduce. So the only way in which seedless plants can reproduce is through using rooting powders such as auxins. Another one is weed killers. So these ones target broad leaved weeds, as you can see in that image there. And so this is where we use synthetic auxins. And what they do is they cause those broad leaved weeds to grow at an extremely quick rate. And the plant cannot sustain that quick growth. So it dies off. So the narrow leafed, for example, plantain in this particular example, it could be another crop is unaffected by this weed killer because the weed killer only targets the broad leaved weed. Another one is jubilarins and these are used to produce malt which can be used in the beer making process. It can be used to delay ripening but the main one here is to produce malt. We've got cytokinins and these prevent aging and other things that we need to know about different examples of how these hormones work are the auxin uh, cytokinins and jubilarins can aid fruit dropping ethene preserves cut flowers and green vegetables as well and that is everything we need to know here on the commercial use of plant hormones please like share the videos and subscribe good luck with your exam